What is good, ladies and gentlemen? You are here chilling with the real Satoshi Aoki. And in today's episode, yep, we're going to be talking about crypto.com again, but not without good reason. Crypto.com have just released their NFT drop section. And whilst they don't have an app just yet, and I don't know about a release time on the app, Someone out there that does know, if you do know, let me know in the comments section below. I have actually subscribed and signed in to set up my little NFT section via the crypto.com or in the crypto.com ecosystem. So we're going to be taking a quick short video and we're going to have a look at that today and have a look at the upcoming drop, the first drop, which is pretty major. I've had a little bit of a squeeze. It's an artist from Melbourne, which I hadn't heard of before, shamefully, even though that's where I'm actually originally from. All right, so we're going to be taking a bit of a look at that today on my phone. Alrighty folks, I'm gonna try and sit up nice and tall for you just for myself and also just because it looks a bit nicer on the camera. So we are on the crypto.com third party application now and this is actually how I found out about this. Literally, I had no plans for this video. I woke up this morning, I saw it. Exclusive drops are coming to the new NFT platform. Sign up now. Yeah, I want to get amongst that. Guys, before I do continue on with the rest of this little video uh, on the app here, I just want to say, be careful with the actual NFTs themselves, okay? It's my prediction right now. A lot of the big dogs like Gary Vaynerchuk are saying, look, most of NFTs, I think Gary Vaynerchuk actually said that 97% of NFTs would be worthless. I could easily agree with him, guys. Look, I think that, you know, whilst there's some great opportunities in the NFT space in terms of being able to invest in NFT infrastructure projects, which is primarily what I'm looking at doing, whilst also, you know, having a bit of fun and actually getting some actual NFTs themselves, guys, you need to seriously be ready to lose it because, you know, you know, if you thought investing in altcoins was risky, then that's nothing in my opinion compared to uh, the potential losses you could have investing in NFTs themselves. So that's not, I'm not saying that to put a downer on the space at all. I think that, you know, the NFT space is definitely not a fad. I think the NFT space is gonna be here for good. All right, it's gonna be here for good. It's freaking awesome. And uh, yeah, it's just, you know, it's sending us further and further into this sort of digital era in a positive way, I believe. But like with anything positive, there's always gonna be, you know, a negative side of the penny. So you just need to be aware of that. Really do your own research before you do buy into any NFTs. But you know, if you like, you know, these videos on NFTs on crypto.com, then again, make sure you drop me a like and leave some comments in the comment section below if there's any other NFT videos that you'd like me to cover, because I am covering a lot of that in this channel. So as you can see down the bottom left of screen here, we're on my phone, it says, like I said before, exclusive drops are coming to the new NFT platform. This is all I did. I went to sign up now. Now I've already signed up, okay? Let's go sign up now and it brings up this uh, separate page here. Okay, still sort of through crypto.com, but it's kind of like got its own internal separate platform, but not an app. So as you can see, upcoming, okay, the Greater Heights Boss Logic drop is coming on the, on Friday, the 26th of March. Okay, so that's only a few days away. All right, so as you can see, guys, uh, look, bear with me because I'm new to this little bit as well. Um, as you can see, it's got an explore section, a drop section, and a my NFT section. So it kind of looks like um, the explore section is going to be a place where you can look for NFTs uh, that will be listed, I guess, within the crypto crypto.com NFT ecosystem. And something I really like about this is that, you know, Chris Marslake did say in the last AMA and also last year in the AMA before last, and we did cover that here on the channel, that, you know, they were going to actively get into the NFT space. Um, and, and here it is, okay. They just launched virtual cards a couple days ago in the EU. They said they were going to do that in uh, Q1 of 2021 or before it finished, and they did that. So I'm liking it, guys. I'm liking what I'm seeing from crypto.com, okay. You know, I know there's been a lot of ups and downs, but they're a new company, and there always are, is, you know. It's never just, you know, an upwards trajectory, okay. Bitcoin had to go from 20K to 3K before it's going to go to 100K, okay. Um, um, and depending on you know whether you bought or sold or held or whatever, that can either be a very very good or a very very bad thing for you, you know. But it doesn't you know it doesn't mean that the company or the coin is bad. You've just got to time things uh, correctly and make the most out of these situations and opportunities. So if we go to the drop section as well, I don't think there'll be well yeah it's gonna show the drop that's coming up. And that's the only one they've got at the moment from Boss Logic, who we will just check out in a moment to see who that artist is. And then there's a My NFT section, which I'm assuming is gonna be kind of like your library, a little bit like what they have on OpenSea, all right? Um, which is like one of the biggest marketplaces for our NFTs at the moment. Okay, I've bought a bit of a few NFTs on there. Uh, make sure you check out my NFT awesomeness playlist, guys, as well, if you wanna learn or start learning a bit more about NFTs. So that's my profile pic there. I didn't choose that. I'm assuming you'll be able to change that. You can edit your profile there. 
view as public, okay? So you can actually see what that looks like, I guess, to the public eye. I mean, I'm assuming they're gonna have a section either in the app or a different app. It'd be cool if they had an NFT crypto.com app separate. I reckon that would be pretty good, you know, like what they've got with the DeFi wallet, etc. So you've got your collectibles there, which is the tab I'm on now. Obviously, I don't have any yet. Um, and you can sell and create, okay, that's interesting. So I'm gonna definitely be engaging in this to some capacity, guys, because you know there are a lot of these NFT platforms that are coming out now that allow for the ability to create NFT. So, you know, I'm gonna be not not I'm gonna create an NFT eventually, but not with the idea of necessarily trying to get profit, but I'm gonna put some basic utility behind it and um, create it in that sense, okay? Just to just for the experience, because I'm I just think it's awesome. Okay, so all right, so that's how it looks to the public. There's obviously nothing there at the moment, and we can exit the public view. We've got the little uh, person up the top, my profile, you know, account activity, log out, edit profile, all your basic stuff there. Got a chat box down the bottom right here, uh, create a wait list. Pretty cool, you got the Instagram, the Twitter, and I don't know what that is. Oh, Medium, sorry, yeah, okay, okay, cool. That's cool, so you got Medium articles there, guys, as well. Let's scroll back. Um, oh yeah, so we'll go back in. So again, I don't know how, don't X that, because I'm not sure how to access this. I mean, obviously, you could just save this page, I guess, to your browser or whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, all right, now let's check out, oh yeah, so this is the subscribe button. So see how it says unsubscribe here? I've already subscribed, so make sure if you're into this, subscribe and they'll notify you uh, just through notification and or email, I guess. Um, and then we can view the drop here, guys. So let's check it out. Boss Logic. so I was like, oh yeah, who's this guy? Let's check it, just check it out. So this is dropping in two days, three hours. By the time I post this video, it's probably gonna be more like one day and a bit, um, because I will be posting this tonight. So about the creators, this is pretty cool. Melbourne-based entertainment artist trying to bring daily joy to the digital world one post at a time. About the drop, breathe new life into the city where once a forest full of life told its story, now written with the ashes it left behind, but we remember it for what it was and we try to be okay, even though we fall from such great heights, only to land on something much greater. Interesting, poetic. Ever miss a drop? Okay, we can subscribe. Again, we've already done that. All right, so let's check out his Twitter, guys. Boss Logic Twitter, solid following, okay? I don't know the gentleman, but he joined in 2009, 423.6K followers, okay? So he's serious, man. He's serious, in my opinion. Yeah, he's got a lot of a solid following, okay? Um, pretty Some pretty cool people following as well. Hashtag MySpace Historian Art. He's an artist slash, slash art director. Cody, aka uh, Bass Logic, aka The Logic, sleepless till I get to somewhere. Okay, so again, I don't know a lot about this fella, all right, or if, if it is a fella or if it's a female, I'm not sure. I mean, it looks like a fella in the DP, um, but you know, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure who who this person is. Um, there's a bit of uh, artwork here, you know, but if you like this kind of artwork, people, then, you know, and then they're, they're in limited supply scarcity from, you know, pretty serious artist. He looks fairly established, but he still obviously has got some room to grow. He's from Australia, been around since 2009. All right, uh, this is the, I guess this is the website that he's promoting. His foundation. Oh, this is a Medium article, I guess. Okay, cool. So what's this here? That's the picture we just saw, Boss Logic Reflect. The time to reflect always uh, comes when the damage is done. Like shattered glass, it is never a perfect reflection of what once was. So that's the piece there. Okay, so I guess, Oh, okay, so this is the piece he's got up. So I don't know if he's got, like, I don't know how much artwork he's got up, but this is definitely one piece, and I think uh, addition of one. So I'm, I'm thinking that that's gonna mean that there's only one piece available here. Ah, okay, and this is, okay, cool, guys. So this is all the information here, okay, so you can view view it on Etherscan. Okay, so currently, the current bid is 7 ETH, guys. All right, so, all right, all right, all right. So this is actually on auction at the moment, okay? It's so on auction at the moment. The current bid, that piece is currently selling for 12,000 US dollars, okay? Quite a bit of money there. All right, quite a bit of money. You can place a bid there. This is the history of the bids placed. Um, again, some more information um, on the... Uh, creator as we scroll down here. I'm seeing this for the first time, guys. Remember I told you about OpenSea, view on OpenSea, so you can get amongst this auction on OpenSea as well. So this is cool, guys, you know, this is cool. Do I like that piece of art? Yeah, look, it looks nice, it looks nice. Um, you know, I think 7 ETH, oof, you know, uh, that, that's a lot for me. I'm sure a lot of people would probably want to be getting amongst that, but that is uh, quite a bit for me, but yeah. Let me know, guys. Let me know. You know, what did you think about this video? If you like this video today, you like content like this, me covering sort of simple stuff on the app, then drop me a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave some comments in the comments section below. If you found any value, share the video with a friend as well. And, you know, um, again, just 
keep me posted on some content that you do want to see. And you know, I hope you really did enjoy this video today and make sure you do stay tuned to see more videos on crypto.com, the crypto debit card space, NFTs, DeFi, bit of yield farming, that kind of thing. Guys, we just love making that bank online through cryptocurrency. It's so, so important. There's so much opportunity out there in, in today's day, you know, with cryptocurrency in particular. And just remember as well, guys, always do your own research. I'm not a financial advisor. These videos are never financial advice. This channel is just a bit of fun, all right? And it's from wherever you are watching from in the world, I really do hope you have a blessed and most profitable day in the cryptocurrency sphere. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, viewers.